Uh, we're now open for questions from the audience. And for minutes, if you want to. Uh, shall anyone wants to start? Okay. Shall I go right? Okay, does anyone want to start, if you please? I don't we, want we to have a microphone, sorry. It's not a question, it's a comment for the last paper. The Royal Institution of Charter Surveyors has done a study about quality standards in housing schemes. Uh, the criteria for selection of these housing schemes are not very rigorously defined, but you might find it interesting in how very solid you find a quality standard. That's very yeah, we're I can give you a name or two. So, anyone else wants to listen, please? Yeah. Do I get the microphone or not? It seems not. No, okay. Go on, then we need to move there. Oh, okay. Right now. Are we going to try to solve it? Yeah, it's, uh, uh, it, it's a question, slash comment, maybe. Uh, because we've seen other papers trying to find, like, the, let's say that some, I, I don't want to use the word invent in a negative way now, but let's say invent like a, some sort of magical number or a range of numbers. And without having, but I know Sophia, what Sophia said probably is the thing to start to, to look at for first. But why don't you check on other demographic values, like, LSOA, like um, in the UK, we've got a certain data, demographic data, compartmentalized in, in different sizes, right? And LSOA is a very small one, consists of a thousand people, I think, on average. So, why don't you try to find some metrics unsupervised or with some other more statistical method? We don't have to go to some sort of magical black box idea. Uh, why don't you do something like this in order to find your, your not your Q or train your Q or manipulate your Q a bit, your Q value? Uh, it's not a great, it's not no, a great, no, no, yeah, just yeah, a yeah, discussion. Yeah, 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 for that. Thanks, no, thank you. Yeah. Well, do we have any more questions? Please, this will be the moment. Yes, if you please. Well, it seems that now COVID has disappeared, no more COVID. But uh, two years ago and one year ago, there was some uh, cataclysmic solutions for the cities that were not prepared to uh, COVID. For example, in the city. Uh, for example, city present the city as a bad thing for people. People prefer more space. Well, but for example, uh, strong force to have more density for sustainable people want to transfer to all the planet. Uh, well, there is many many forces for every side. Uh, I'd like to ask, for example, to what you saw in Villa de Sousa, is there any solution uh, that can control, I am talking about this event, uh, with many other parameters, uh, that you saw in your, uh, in your uh, quest, uh, and you saw some solution for this? Preserve the uh, augmentation of density in any way you have saw in your, in your uh, research. Preserve uh, more density with less COVID. Arthur, Marie, do you want to elaborate on that? Or? O, a gente não está conseguindo ouvir direito, Davi, assim, está muito baixo o volume, a gente não, não conseguiu entender praticamente nada da pergunta, desculpa. Asking, asking if we consider density as a, a possible um, um, 
trial for the for the research that we did. No, you don't want to answer. Is he good? Is he good? Did, did you listen to the question? No. No. Maybe he can't hear. No. Yeah, yeah. It's not too well. No, no. We have the micro on. Uh, well, I will try to answer to you, although I'm not from this source. <laughs> Um, well, the, the density was not a, a factor that we considered in, in, the, in the research. Um, of course, the, as they told us, yeah, I know you're not listening, Arthur, but I, I'm, I'm trying to answer for you. Uh, um, the, um, the integration performance and the, and the, and the well, the, also the choice, but mainly the integration is uh, connected to the placed with the higher level of, of uh, density, not in terms maybe of population living, but uh, being in, in use of spaces. Uh, we saw, the, as I was told, the the university, the the, the, the flows of the, the, the dynamics of the university introduced in cities is very high. So most of the city is uh, related to the university activities or by students or professors or um, people working there, etc. So um, that was part of the, the study, but not the, 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 the density uh, uh, of people living in a certain area, etc. But it, it can be possible to have as the other factors that we mentioned in the, in the end. Although using density, I think there are other methodologies that we might um, that we might use to have better results than space index uh, approach. I'm thinking about, for instance, meta household work, and, and I don't think with the space index uh, density would be the best approach. Maybe. I don't know if I answered to your question. I, uh, your face is not is telling you no. <laughs> I would like to answer, but I think the answer will <laughs> maybe COVID is <laughs> Well, uh, I don't know if it's going to disappear. I think it's um, it's it's here around us. So, uh, do you want to answer the questions? Well, obviously, as you know, designers, we will look favorably at density. You know, we like density. But the problem is that in our people don't. Well, exactly. You know, the, those those initial data come from direct service. You know, people living in various ranges of houses have been asked, you know, do you like to live in a dense area?" And they all say basically, "No." You know, we have more, more like to have perhaps because it's England, whatever. But perhaps they want to have a little, little garden and you know, a little space and to barbecue and all. So, in a way, they, they do really like the idea of, um, of having a um, multi level. And as you find uh, in other places, you, you, know, you find bigger houses, bigger buildings that contain more flats. As um, again, uh, we try to kind of remove ourselves as designers from this process and try to kind of see what the information we are to work. Uh, frankly, regarding density, um, one of the things that we noticed is that the, um, in the kernel maps, the evolution of the kernel maps, they tend to be, um, how do I say this, um, um, in the sequence of the kernel maps, we see that the, the, the spike of the, of the COVID, the, the second, the third, the, the first, the second and the third, the spike of, of the COVID, um, although it starts in um, um, integrated, integrated places, then the spread was to, to, to where people live. And it, it's obvious because the, then people work in a place, live in the other place, and then they probably get COVID from the place they were working or traveling by bus or whatever. And then they go home and then from home they spread uh, to family, etc. So, that within the sequence of the kernel maps, 
regarding the, 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 spike, the, the spike of the, the curve of the COVID, we know that that, that was a um, phenomenon that starts uh, very locatedly and then obviously spread. Maybe that answered a little bit of your question regarding this. Can I say something in the discussion? There was a study in Portugal some years ago about uh, where the people prefer to live. And the conclusion was that they prefer to live in a place with that all the facilities of the cities, you know, like shopping, cinemas, malls, etc., etc. And afterwards, they want the house with cake. <laughs> so the problem, perhaps, is you probably shouldn't ask the person what they want to do and study <laughs> and study it without that parameter. <laughs> Uh, Very well. In the study of the CEO, in the study, I rise in apartment buildings, for example, and maybe a solution that I remember to have uh, a book from Miss Alice Coleman. You could let me know, uh, know her. Alice Coleman. Yes, <laughs> demonstrating that the Apartment in the old housing, the old nice housing building was the mother of all evils. It's the laziest and scientifically demonstrated. It's the laziest use of science I ever and ridiculous because I I am not I am not continue that. <laughs> No, science can have a very, very uh, evil uses. <laughs> but uh, if you allow me, uh, there's, sometimes there are some studies we keep on forgetting because we were done a lot of years ago. There's always the studies of the Bart and Lyle and Bunch about the Lyle occupation, of course, which are very, very important. And it shows that we can have the same density it's a it's an obvious place of occupying the floor, so it's not always about density, it's about how the way you you your your staying on the ground. And that's uh, all other parameters for inside that question that can be lead us to several variants. I don't know if I'm wrong. No, and that's that's a very good point because what we found very difficult is to you know, we have fifty five things to consider and probably we left out you know, many more. So the problem is really which one you know, which one do we want to yeah. yeah. I think that makes a big part response model response to this point. Yeah. I don't know if you're familiar with that method of density. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very well, uh, if anybody wants to have uh, ask another question. And shall we finish with the session? Yeah. Very well, so I'll thank all the, uh, the presenters of the paper that presented here. Thank you very much. It's been very interesting. And, uh, there is a wine, a Spanish wine demonstration downstairs in the level. Of the